Hi, we are going to read Psalm 32 together. Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity, in whose spirit there is no deceit. For when I kept silent, my bone wasted away to my groaning all day long. For day and night your hands were heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as, the heat, as by the heat of the summer. I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not cover my iniquity. I said I will confess my transgression to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Therefore, let everyone who is godly offer prayer to you at time when you may be found. Surely in the rush of great water they shall not reach him. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with clouds with shout of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eyes upon you. Be not like a horse or mule without understanding, which must be curbed with bits and bridle, or it will not stay near you. Many are the sorrow of the wicked, but steadfast love surround the one who trusts in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord, rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. As now the Psalm of David, here we see that in verse three to five, silent in pain due to sin can rotten one's soul. But acknowledge of sin and, and exposure of it, expose sin out through it to our confession and forgiveness from the Lord will come. In verse 7 and 9, we see that a cry, a statement of truth here. The Lord is our hiding place. It's a statement of truth. He is our instructor and teacher of light path. He will show you the path. And in Jesus Christ, He is the path. He is the way. He is not just professional counselor, but a loving counselor who always has viewed, has viewed the best of us and does no harm. So given what we got from the Lord, we are reminded not to be like mules or animals that need bits and bridle, but we should learn to choose to stay close to the Lord without force. The Lord is always willing. Are you willing? I hope that you say you do. I will see you next time.